This is arguably the most iconic and memorable image of all Olympic Games. Yet many of us do not know the name and story behind the man who won gold, in despite of it, risked it all in order to propel the human and civil rights movement into the conscience of all who could hear and see. Since that time, Olympic gold medalist Tommy Smith has continued to fight all over the world and right here in Oakland, California. Welcome, I am Game Changers fellow Shaka Jamal, introducing the Tommy Smith Youth Movement. And you saw when, he, when he, he and John Carlos put their fist up in 1968. They wanted to pull his awards. It was hard for him getting the job. So sometimes doing the right thing is, is gonna, is gonna is, you're gonna be lonely. But you keep on doing the right thing. And I was a young black man, 23 years old, 24 years old in the Olympic Games, who sought a platform to continue to help kids like I was coming up. And there are those kids in the system right now. It's sad that I had to do something because the system, which is supposed to have been dedicated to representing everybody, did not. And the people that it was supposed to represent had to sacrifice to do what the Constitution already said should have been done. I had no choice. This is what we had to do just to survive. So I want you to repeat after me. It's not about me. It's not about, it's not about, you. It's not about you. It's about the children. It's about the children. We have a devastating uh, 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 percentage of, uh, of irateness in the system because our young men are not uh, uh, eligible to receive because they don't get what makes them eligible. And that's education. He said, we're gonna do something about addressing the needs of our community as it relates to childhood obesity, type two diabetes. And he said, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna develop a track club. And the health of moving away from the couch is a cardiovascular respiratory positive, which you can't feel unless you have a little pain doing it. You know, pain is obvious. How one handles it isn't. You have to get out and do something before you can understand the goodness of what that pain is. You, you have to understand to embrace pain. Kids are sometimes finding out for the first time that they should stay away from certain things that kind of plague our community. For example, soda and hot chips is kind of the breakfast of champions for a lot of our kids in the West Oakland area. In our community, we've had, we, we got a little fracture of our elders passing the baton to the next generation, passing the baton to the next generation, passing the baton to the next generation. We need somebody that has the blueprint that we can uh, learn from. And so he reached out to who? Dr. Tommy Schmidt. And we took it and we've grown within 100 black men of, of the Bay Area. Now we have youth movement in Oakland, in Louisville, Kentucky, in New Orleans, we even have it in, in Europe as a result of one man. I've been involved in this now for a decade, and every year it gets better. We have clinics like we're gonna have tomorrow to talk about obesity, to talk about uh, uh, wellness, to talk about uh, uh, physical fitness, to talk about the educational process. The Thomas Smith Youth Initiative is a total program. Youth movement helps students improve their health, develop long-term goals, and overcome obstacles to lifetime success and achievement. It builds confidence, resiliency skills, and reinforces the values of commitment and hard work upon which youth can draw for achievement in academics and other areas throughout their lives. I think it's good for her to not only hear about a legend, not only to hear about a leader, not only to hear about an inspiration, but to actually be able to meet that leader and meet that inspiration. And the purpose for us is to be able to make sure that they understand that the baton is passed down and that uh, we ultimately want them to not only be healthy, but we want them to uh, understand that, that it's okay to, to love as a, as a collective community. What appears to be a hopeless situation, if you're looking at it through the eyes of the media, we need it right now to reassure these kids. Reality is not the Channel 7 News. When every time you see somebody like you, he's in handcuffs. That's a piece of reality, but this is reality for us. 
So this is a this is the type of world that we live in here, you know. So uh, it's a good thing. It's good for our children and it's good for us. It's, it's very uh, sad to see uh, where our educational uh, posterity is when it comes to our young black men in the streets. And this is why the, the growth of schools, especially a school like uh, the 100 Black Men are starting here, is mightily important. We, during those times, understood the need to continue. I keep using this word to continue because if we don't, our youth are lost. The mere fact of the truth is we don't have grassroots organizations deep enough to reach the soul which are dying in our young men. Just coming here, just I, I learned that I have a lot to offer actually to uh, the young black men that are here coming to the youth uh, track clinics. And I just have a, a deeper understanding about his history and what he's done for, not only for black men, for black people in general, but for this country. But I was always told to lift as you climb. So as I'm coming up and I'm um, doing things in my life, I definitely always feel like it's necessary to give back to your community that you came from. So the Tommy Smith in 1968 was just a continuum of what I was put here on this earth to do. And that is to promote the education of those who don't have a platform to do that. The most important thing is gonna take is a stand to change the game. My name is Tommy Smith and I am a game changer.